Well, and then, of course, just later. I'm filling up my water bottle, so give me just a second to do that. See, I have, like, multiple water bottles. I have a big thermos one that keeps shit really cold, which is nice. But I don't want it to get all gross, so I only put water in it. And then I have, like, little cheap one that I that I put, like, flavored things for the water and stuff down in. So, I have to, like, pour water from the one, th from the thermos to the, to the other water bottle sort of thing. Uh, but anyways, yeah. Video games. Let's, uh, let's play some video games. Hi, Noodle. Thanks for being here, love. Stream love one. All right, uh, but anyways, with all of that, we might as well get into the game. You're having trouble again with Wi-Fi, Rue? That sucks, man. I hope you get it figured out, especially because more than anyone, I think uh, you're most excited for this game. So <laughs> I hope you get it figured out uh, there. But regardless, let's uh, let's get back into it, man. We uh, left off last time. I, did we even finish the first chapter of the Puka Prince storyline? I don't think we did. We might have. I can't really remember. It was like a week ago. It's hard for me to keep track of things that, that far out. Uh, but anyways, we're, we're a Puka now. And we're doing, we're doing Puka things. He's got a cool sword. It's really strong, apparently. Um, he was a man, but he turned into a Puka, uh, for some reason that we don't know yet. Cursed by somebody, I presume. Uh, but anyways, this is us. So, okay. What's our inventory looking like, too? Should probably look at that. Is it even worth picking things up? Got to get reacquainted to the controls every time I play the game. Uh, also, the game <laughs> has been experiencing some lag problems lately. There we go. We're in it. What do we got? We got multiple different seeds. Let's, uh... Let's just move these things down here. So we got a shine potion, which we shouldn't need right now. We only need that in the land of the dead. Healing tonic, which is pretty self-explanatory. Unlimited power is nice. And then a couple basic materials. And then muggle seed, mulberry seed, grape pan, more mulberry. Okay. So, I mean, we can pick up the carrot, and if I remember correctly, the carrots are used for making health potions and stuff. So, uh, yeah, we're gonna we're gonna want that. Ow! For anybody who hasn't seen Odin Sphere before, it's just a uh, it's a pretty pretty nice little game. You just run around as one of the various characters in the in the game. Uh, I guess there's like six-ish chapters per character, and then each character has their own storyline or whatever. And it's just like this side-scrolling action RPG thing. It's a lot of fun, actually. I've been having a, a ton of fun with it. The art style is amazing. The music is pretty decent. The only complaint I have is in some levels, there's a lot of slowdown, like lag-wise. And then, uh, the, uh inventory system is kind of jank to be honest like just to be frank like <laughs> like it's not it's not amazing the the uh the inventory system there because you like they did the whole thing like uh what's that one game oh shoot i can't remember the name of it uh super nintendo game and it had an inventory like this or a menu like this i guess i should say not necessarily an inventory Anyways, they did that, which is fine for, like, if I was just selecting a weapon or something like that. But that's how the whole inventory system works. And to make matters worse, there's also this inventory screen, but you can't actually interact with anything in that one. You can only sort stuff. So it's kind of like, why, you know? But other than that, I have, like, no real complaints for the game, man. It's a ton of fun. All right, we got the map now. That's good. So we can actually see where we're going. Um, so we've got a shop coming up next. That's the actual boss we want to get to. We could fight everything. The only thing that does for us, though, is level up our Psy meter, really, or let us grow seeds. We probably will, just because why not, though? 
Ooh, baromet seed. Yeah, no, we're gonna want that. So uh, let's let's grab that. Let's hope clearing your cookies and cash works. You're here, but if something happens, you'll have to head out. Feel free to message me in Discord. You got it, man. No problem. I hope uh, whatever's going on isn't too bad. We can make another health tonic there. No reason not to, and that'll clear up a space for the baromet seed that we got. So that's nice. What are these ones? That's a grape seed. Oh man, there's there's a lot more cipher or foes on, sorry, floating around than I thought there was. We probably could have planted something actually. But it's too late now. Let's see. We got Baromet, Cubbing, Grape, Mulberry. I we can probably throw down a mulberry seed and swap it for grape. I think that's pretty reasonable. Your friend's Wi-Fi sucks, that's what's going on. Seriously, everything has taken forever to load. I'm sorry, man. I didn't know if, uh, you said, like, if something happens, you might have to go, so I didn't know if, like, uh, there was just something more going on, but, uh, yeah, I'm sorry about the Wi-Fi issue, that's always frustrating. Trust me, I've been there. <laughs> Thankfully, not in quite a while, outside of, uh, occasional problems with, with Comcast, um, but yeah, we have, we have pretty decent Comcast service where I live at now. Puka, it pleases me to see that you are well. I am delivering a message from Princess Gwendolyn. Ah. Lord Brigand's strength lies in the four shields on his chest. Yeah, we fought him before, actually. Um. Hello. Um. The game audio isn't coming through. Give me one sec. Aha. Uh -huh. There we go. Now it's working. Oh, God. Hello. <laughs> Noodle, hello. Rue, hello, man. Le Boo. Oh, my God. Okay. I'm dying. Hold on. Mic. Not mic. Camera. Whatever this thing is. Oh, man. That is that is bright. Hello. Howdy, y'all. I Okay. So, like, I know I was talking about being shiny and stuff a lot. I promise I'm not like sweaty right now. The camera just makes me look shiny. <laughs> let me let me turn off the brightness compensation thing. There we go. <laughs> that looks better. Oh, I was oh, I was shimmering there for a moment. Oh my god, guys. I'm dead. <laughs> I'm just as dead. It was he, Nate, only on screen for, you know, like half a second. Very obscure character. Damn, dude. I can't, I can't, I can't function. I'm so dead. I was going to say something about uh, paychecks or something. I don't know, man. I'm, I'm not here. I'm somewhere else right now. I'm in the bed behind this blue screen right now is where I am. <laughs> just, just dead. I need to get you some blotting papers. We actually have some that'll work, but I don't know if you want to use them. What? We actually have some that'll work? What are you talking about? What kind of blotting paper do we have? Are you talking about pads? <laughs> Is that what you're talking about? <laughs> do you use pads to, to get... To, oh, oil off your face. Oh, okay. Yeah, no. Like, it doesn't even feel, like, oily or anything. I mean, I guess a tiny bit, like, right here. Okay, so a tiny bit, like, on the sides, but I haven't got my shower yet tonight, so. Toilet liners? Is that what people use to remove oil from their face? I'm awake! <laughs> I'm here! You can see me! I'm <laughs> kind of awake, at least. I'm kind of on autopilot at the moment, but I'm awake! <laughs> Made from pretty much the same paper. I've always felt like the toilet liners are just, like, really shitty one-ply toilet paper. <laughs> That's what they make me think of. So, do people just, like, blot their face with toilet paper to remove the oil? Why not just, like, <laughs> take some alcohol or something and wash your face with it? I don't know. That'd get the oil off, right? Or soap? Like, I don't know, man. I'm not a skincare person. I don't... I don't... <laughs> Noodles yelling at me. I don't do skincare, man. I wash my face with soap. <laughs> that's that's what I do for my face. And I don't get pimples, really. Like, 
I uh, it's whatever. I don't. <laughs> I think. I think people. Yeah, you just grow hair over it. Problem solved, man. See, the beard soaks up all the oil, so it's fun. You bought a Karis body pillowcase? Well, I'm gonna guess you, Rue, all things considered, but like, is it like a, uh, oh, you just said body pillow. I'm sorry, I'm very stupid, just in general, but especially right now, because very, very tired. Huh. But throughout the day, you do get oily? Throughout the day, you get oily. Do I, though? Because, like, I've been sweating up a fucking storm today. And, like I said, there's, like, no oil. There's a tiny bit here. Like, on the bridge of my nose. Like I said, like, a tiny bit here. You mean people in general? Oh. <laughs> okay. I'm sorry. <laughs> Maybe it's because people put too much shit on their face. I don't know, man. I'm very pro just chill. That's what I am. God, I'm tired. That screen's very bright. Oh my god. <laughs> the, the one of him on his back, dude. Hold on. There's nothing like... Doesn't have like my location on here or anything right now. Okay. Uh, miscellaneous. Where is the window capture? There we go. <laughs> this one. Uh, you probably can't see my mouse, but the this one that I'm highlighting. There we go. That one, dude. <laughs> That's the one that had me laughing. That is fantastic. <laughs> with like <laughs> with the the koi leg uh, positioning and everything too, like a like a anime girl, you know. That is that is fantastic. I love that for you. That is. <laughs> <laughs> That's smug face. Oh my god. That is great, dude. That is some good shit. Body pillow can body pillow? Can I can I do that? Like <laughs> am I gonna get banned? Hold on. I gotta I gotta hide this for a second. Look how cute he is. <laughs> Maybe? What? Pillow coon. Uh, okay, well, nothing came up. Actually, the website just died. There we go. Okay. Uh, not Pillow Man. Pillow Coon. Images. Pillow Coon. Body. Pillow. <laughs> Wait. Okay. I don't know which one I meant to be looking at. <laughs> But there's a fucking My Little Pony one, dude. <laughs> like a seductive My Little Pony one. That is that is something. Oh no. Okay. Nothing nothing bad here, right? Alright. That's <laughs> It's just a picture of a blushing body pillow. Okay, yeah, no, definitely not this one. Ah shit, it didn't load. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I gotta I probably gotta refresh it. There we go. <laughs> that is that is beautiful, that one, dude. That's the one we need to get. Noodle, if you don't mind, can uh, you order that up for me? It's only $16.99, dude. That's perfect. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> oh. Oh my god, Snow. What, you weren't into it, Rue? I thought it was cute. Okay, sorry. I was looking for the one that Chocobo mentioned, but... Uh, body Pillow Coon Body Pillow. Okay. Body Pillow Coon Body Pillow. <laughs> There's the, a Skyrim one. Uh, I don't see the one that you were talking about. It's not popping up. Probably better to leave it be. Fair enough. Fair enough. <laughs> God, some of them are terrible. I want to, like, share my screen, but I know if I scroll long enough, there's going to be nudity. <laughs> and I'm like, I don't, I don't want to put that on Twitch, so I'm not going to uh, share my screen right now. But some of these are just terrible, dude. Holy shit, though. Okay, last one. Last one. 
and then and then we'll actually do you know stuff uh excuse me window capture there we go game view transition oh my camera broke now you're kidding it for me probably not love <laughs> i mean if you really want it then we can uh maybe i'll get it for you <laughs> like but like you said your your body pillows folded in half though you wouldn't even be able to see it is there a kermit body oh god damn it now i have to look up a kermit body pillow kermit body pillow <laughs> what the fuck is this dude hold on one sec one sec wait what what is what is this bro i clicked on ah oh, can i just like open the image in a new tab i just do that yeah okay good because i clicked on this right uh, i'm gonna show it here now I clicked on this image, right, of this fucking terrible Kermit here, and it took me to some, like, wood chips, man, <laughs> like, a website to buy wood chips. I'm like, that's not what I was looking at, dude. I don't understand. I'm so confused. But it's just dumb. Looks like a pillow pet. <laughs> it looks like he's waiting to get mounted, dude. <laughs> like, I wonder if he's a functional pet. Uh, puppet. <laughs> He's got a nice hole in his ass back there. That's what I want to know. <laughs> oh, I'm tired. Pillow pets are cool. Yeah, they are. Super cool. There's like some life-sized ones. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Yes, this is what I'm talking about. This is, okay, actually last one. Oh, God damn it, it's broke again. Hold on. Uh, window capture, update to that one, transition. There we go. There we go. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the pillow. Can we put these ones on our couch, love? <laughs> these are the pillows we need for our house. <laughs> it's a fucking puppet dude it's great it's fantastic sure why not <laughs> oh my god okay anyways i'm sorry we're actually we're playing final fantasy 16 that's <laughs> that's what we're actually doing but oh man i uh don't usually wear this shirt on stream because it's white and i sweat too much for that especially in the summer but it's fucking Not today, Snorlax. One of my favorite shirts, dude. <laughs> Just because the graphic. I wish they had it in black. Because I, I almost exclusively wear black most of the time. But it's a good shirt. It's a great shirt. Okay. Anyways. Well, now then. With all of that out of the way. uh, <laughs> Let's play some Final Fantasy 16, shall we? Oh, fuck. I haven't been feeling too good either. I, I think it's just from the heat. That but I spent, like, nothing. most of this morning feeling like I was going to throw up, so that was a fun time. And then I've just been exhausted ever since, dude. I checked my temperature, though. Like, I don't have a fever or anything. Like, my... Yeah, it's like 98.9 .9 right now, so just above average. It's actually pretty average for me. You're a little cold at the moment. I know you were like your skin was chilly downstairs, dude. That's the, uh, honestly like one of the reasons why I decided to check my temperature. Because whenever I felt your arm downstairs, you were like, you felt cool on my skin. I'm over here like dying and shit. It's just crazy. I don't know. <laughs> like, uh, I'm just not made for the heat, dude. Obviously, like with all this hair and shit, 100%. I'm made for. I'm made for the cold. Won't you come and play, handsome? Excuse me, ma'am. I am on a mission. I have no time for your shit. Okay, I guess there's nothing for us to do here yet. We probably have to get a freaking pendant or something to wear. Oh. Something's happening. 
I didn't expect to trigger a cutscene. Ah, they've closed the road. And it's the only way from here to the Fang. It would seem Lord Kupka is not accepting visitors at present. We have to get through that gate. Uh, not by force, I trust. We've attracted quite enough unwanted attention already. I say we just break when. through, dude. Perhaps the desert hare can offer us her aid. Rosina Dalamil, woman of mystery. But how will we find Is it going to be another we know naught of her but her name? Like and that she was brothel owner. Sid. Sid's other collaborators have all been people of means, the wealthiest and most successful members of their communities. I feel like it's going to be another brothel owner. Dalamil is the same. That would certainly help to narrow the search. We need only inquire as to who is in charge of the town. And that's exactly what I mean to do. Uh, okay. Speak with the townspeople. We can do that. Oh, do we have to talk to them in like a certain order? Where's the... I guess so. That's why your coworker calls me a Yeti and compares me to the Jack Lynx guy. I don't know the Jack Lynx guy, but I don't think I'm as hairy as a Yeti. I, mean, I don't really care. Call me whatever you want, though. <laughs> but I got hair, obviously. But Anything Yeti seems like a bit it. much, dude. Like, you Allow know, me. bald here. My <laughs> That's about man. it, but... We represent one of the oldest and greatest Did you take a picture with him? Port I don't remember which one that was, to be honest. I know it was like just a few days ago, but... Well, we're best known for our baths, our markets, and our smithies. I suppose you could do worse than start your search at one of those. Thank you. You've been most helpful. Baths. Oh, um, you wouldn't happen to know a lady by the name of Rosina Dalamil, would you? No. I can't say I do. Well, thank you all the same. Oh, that one. Okay. Well, I remember which co-worker, but I, I still don't remember what the Jack Link, Jack Link's guy looks like, to be honest. It's... Do not remember. This river runs all the way to the southern seas. They used to load the crystal onto barges and sail it to the villages downstream. Before the canyons were lost to beasts and bandits. When I was a girl, I would wave to the boatmen as they set off on their long journey, and they would throw me sweetmeats in return. Ugh. Such happy times. Sweetmeats? Sounds disgusting. <laughs> I don't know. Oh, man, I had this, like, pizza today, right? It's like a uh, wood-fired oven pizza. And it was really good, but one of the guys suggested that I put some of this spicy honey sauce on it like spicy honey oil stuff on top of it so I put it on one of my slices because I wasn't too sure about the the honey aspect of it like it was okay but I'm not like a sweet savory person most of the time the only time I like sweet savory is like teriyaki sauce that's about it like I don't want my barbecue sauce being too sweet I don't like pineapple and shit on my ham like I just want my savory to be savory what do you want can't you see I'm busy I won't keep you long I'm you have for very pale brown I eyes. The name of Rosina Dalamil. Do you know her? Never heard of her. Is that all? One more question. If I wanted to find the richest trader in town, where would you recommend that I look? Oh, well, that's easy. The Briars Kiss. Won't find a finer smithy this side of the strait. The owner's only a young sprig, but he's got all the right ideas. The Briars Kiss, you say? Thank you. Bruh, if somebody like me comes up to you asking, hey, who's the richest person in this town? I feel like you probably shouldn't tell them. <laughs> I look like I'm going to go rob the richest person in town right here, dude. Not whatever the hell our uncle said earlier. Perhaps our uncle gives us a little bit of credibility. He's in the Discord.
<laughs> so Bigfoot. It's just Bigfoot. That's <laughs> he could have just said that, dude. Like genuine cactar noodles. Oh, very fancy. Too bad I can't like buy any. Not that I. I don't know. Probably wouldn't be able to like do anything with it. Wait. Hold on. Oh, there is a dude there. Okay. The person who said, let me treat you, I thought was a, like a woman or something. But they were listed as minor. M-I-N-E-R. And I, it, I was just very confused. I was Why like, is wait, is that just shot? what they call the people, the women of the brothel? <laughs> like in this town? Miners? That's a weird name for that. Probably shouldn't. But he's specifically the Jack Link Sasquatch. But it's like the same thing though. Is there really any difference? Other than, like, that one's in Jack Link's commercials? <laughs> I don't know. Speak with the villagers. Quest destination nearby. Am I just supposed to talk to this trader? Good day, my lord. No. I don't think this is the right place. Hunter's waist cloth and arm cloths. What was that? Breath of lightning. Neat, I guess. I mean, we should probably buy these at some point just for the achievement, but I'm in no rush. Nope, nope, okay. We're outside the circle. Maybe this person stroking the chocobo? No. Ah, you! Hello, guy on boat, or whatever. Can Doc? I help you? Yes, I'm looking for a woman by the name of Rosina Dalamil. A long standing pillar of your community, I believe, from old trading stock. Then you should ask further. He's been here for years, knows the place and its people like the back of his hand. And he's in with all the old merchant families. Try the baths. That's where you'll usually find him. Thank you kindly. The way he deserved that well, thank you kindly, it man. That like sounded so insist so Perhaps. so insincere. So so Let's go and suspicious, find out exactly honestly. Excuse me. Are you further? I am. Can I help you, travelers? I hope so. You've lived here for some time, is that correct? Do you know Rosina Dalamil? We believe she may be a trader of some renown. And what business do you have with the desert hare? Ah, she was a so close you know of her. I was hoping she might be able to help me. Very well. Go to the bordello. I'll arrange an introduction. Bordello. What the hell's a bordello? Do you think we can trust him? Only as far it's as a I... sitting area. So you're the ones who've been sniffing around. I beg your pardon. Don't play the fool. Stick your nose in our business, and you're likely to lose it. <laughs> Still got the old man eyes. Love to see it. I mean. Oh no, not the old man eyes. <laughs> Poor noodle. Really? Y'all are still alive? Oh, oh, new enemies. Man, you guys are doing well. I mean, not the first group so much. The first group went down pretty quickly. Bested. Like, that was really a challenge. 
It's okay, though. We got 192 gill for it. And two gill bugs. Don't forget about the gill bugs, man. Everybody loves a good gill bug. Who are you working for? Him or her? Uh, uh, him. The, the boss. He wanted us to test you. Though one could hardly call that a test. Lord Ferda? Look what the cat dragged in. Your skill with the blade is rare indeed, my lord. A fitting talent for an outlaw. Ah, uh, you know us, do you? So what now? Call in the men of the rock and collect the bounty? That isn't my decision to make. Our work is done. Take him to meet his precious Rosina. She will be interested to make his acquaintance. Yes, my lord. To the lock of leisure, then. To the lock of leisure. If you just listen to me from the beginning, that sounds like the place I expected Thanks to find her to begin with. Sid seemed to really like his, uh, company. <laughs> Is this the place? Who was Forge? The Briar's Kiss. Ah, so it was the young Sprig after all. So much for Rosina Dalamil being a woman of experience. How wrong I was. Sorry, Uncle. Was Not everyone can be perfect. Uncle. After all, it must have been years since Sid last saw her. Sorry, him. Whoever this Lubor truly is, he's clearly a man of means. I'd say he deserves our respect. See that he gets it. Lubor, Lord Ferda told me to bring them to you. My boys tell me you're in need of assistance. Sid the second? <laughs> I won't waste your time. I need passage through the south gate. <laughs> tell me, what do you think is a merchant's most important commodity? Goodwill? I trust. Everyone knows that. Without it, you have Called nothing. <laughs> and nothing is exactly what you have. And so, for you, I, too, have nothing. I'm not in the business of helping every lost puppy that wanders in off the street. I'm a I busy mean, man, does as you can see. Being Sid the Second, working with Sid all this time and Let's whatnot, does that not... Is fast. By all means. Have, like... Some way, someone a little to help you on your way. Just be sure to tell them you're not the two travelers from the inn the guards are looking for. Don't want them jumping to conclusions, do we? Dick, are you so? What do we need to do to earn your trust? Like this one, willing to do whatever it takes to get what he wants. <laughs> Men like you have a special place in my heart. Why, you ask? Because they get me what I want. Always. I don't like Lubor. I'm not gonna lie, dude. Fine. Just seems like an asshole. So what do you want? Don't tell me you're going to listen to this swaggering scruff. Byron's got we the right idea. Well hear him out. It's only natural that an ally of Sid's would seek assurances of strangers. Assuming he is an ally, of course. Five years ago, he would have still been a boy. And yet even then I had more good sense than a man... Oh, five times my age? But enough of the pleasantries. 
We were speaking of what I want. I want you to put an end to the trouble in Dalamil. Return to me when you have done so, and you shall have my aid. Until then, I bid you good day. What the hell's what going on in Dalamil? Yeah, thank if you're you. Going to give us orders, <laughs> be clear about them. Damn you. <laughs> Pirates. Greybeard. One We're on the same la wavelength there, vinegar. like... What did you call me? My apologies. A word of advice in recompense. Follow the crystals. Oh, but that was three. Oh, I'm making this too easy for you. <laughs> Couldn't Byron just throw, throw a bag of gold Solving at the guards and be like, yo, let us through? Child's play. Can't imagine there's that many guards that would turn down a year's worth of wages to just turn a blind eye while we walk through we a gate, to. you know? All right. Good luck, Uncle. Follow the crystals. I thought we were the only ones causing trouble in Delamil. Speak with the townspeople, okay. Huh? I don't know how that really helps, to be honest. Hello, do you know anything about crystals, sir? Excuse me. Is it true there's been trouble with crystals of late? You've heard, then? I've heard rumors. Damn thieves. Mm, okay. Men to fill our cups and light our stoves. Us common folk have hardly had a shard to share between us these last few moons. And it isn't as if we can buy them on the black market either. Whoever's taking them, they aren't sharing. So that's what this is all about. Gotta kill a, a group of thieves. And before Lubor's the thief, dude. What is this? Oh, just advertisements. Great. <laughs> Even in my video games, I can't get away from freaking ads. Do you have a moment? Depends what for. Just a question. Mm, yeah, they're my favorite. Let me tell you. Compared to the other villages I came through on the way, is there a reason for that? Well, we're a stone's throw from Drake's Fang for one. The soldiers guarding the Mother Crystal and the shipments need a place to spend their hard-earned gill. The men of the Rock throw their money about like there's no tomorrow. Is that so? Well. Thank you. Don't let me keep you from your work any longer. Okay. <laughs> what was the point of that? Take a sniff, good sir. I'm, uh, you I don't believe know. how much you gave me. What can I do for you, soldier? Need that sword polishing. I mean, I'm not a soldier. Could always oh, use a good sword polishing. <laughs> I serve the men of the rock and the men of the rock only. You have an agreement with them? Don't be stupid. I just know which side my bread is buttered. Don't want to be stuck under some pauper when they come knocking. With pockets deeper than Zemeckis and a urge to empty them. No, just leave, will you? Before you scare them off. I think I'm starting to get an idea. Not of quite as accommodating as the courtesans of the the last town we were in. They'll probably be back at the inn by now. My carpets have dried. What was all that crashing and banging about? Are we allowed in here? It's you, the one who broke all our furniture. My uncle what paid for it, thank you. Haven't you caused enough trouble already? I'm looking for my pal. Have you seen him? The gentleman who was with you? Yes, he's upstairs, but... But? Thank you. I'll go and fetch him. But? <laughs> is he with... Is he with a woman? Is that the but? Let me treat you. Oop. me go through the doors? No.
Am I... Am I blind? Oh, it wraps around this way. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Will this suffice as a deposit? By the sands. That's a black pearl. One of the many treasures in my collection that I would be only too happy to part with should you give me reason to do so. All right. I'm sure that we can come to an agreement, but not here. What are you doing, Uncle? Is he buying us passage? Seems reasonable to believe he might be. At least attempting to. Care to explain why you're giving gifts to Kupka's men? Bait, my boy. One cannot catch one's prey without it. And I do believe I've snagged us quite the quarry. I started by asking around the markets as to where I might purchase crystals. I had no luck, of course. It's forbidden to trade in such things. But my uncharacteristic indiscretion just happened to attract the attention of those uniformed ruffians. They took me aside and said they could procure the crystal I sought if I proved I could pay for it. So mm. the pearl was your proof. <laughs> I thought they'd ask for more. A second-rate specimen like that would only, <laughs> only fetch 500,000. 500, so That's it. Just 500,000, you know. Admittance to the underworld. Jesus That's Christ. About my little act of subterfuge. What did you discover? That the supply of crystals has dried up of late. And some people seem to think they're being stolen. Meanwhile, members of Kupka's private guard have been spending money all over town. I'll wager those soldiers you've been talking to have been siphoning off crystals meant for elsewhere and pocketing the profits. I'll wager you're right. We'll meet with the men, just as you arranged, and put an end to the trouble Lubor spoke of. Ha! That preening Popinjay thought this would be difficult. It just goes to show, one should never underestimate a Rosfield. We'll soon wipe that smirk off his face. I arranged to meet oh, the soldiers Byron. in a secluded corner of the Velcroy, far from Chest. prying eyes. Two Perfect old goblin coins? Let's dealing. go, dude. I trust I can count on your support, if things turn sour. Oh, damn. Okay. Uh... How did we get over there? Of course. Wasn't the gate being blocked, or is that... That must be a different gate. Yeah, okay, okay, okay. It was the south gate that's being blocked. I see, I see. Why is the tavern shut? This way. Feel like... They're just gonna try to rob us. <laughs> I mean, I don't know. Maybe they'll maybe they'll trade with us. Maybe they'll be admirable, but I don't I don't trust them, man. They're stealing the crystals for the that are meant for the people to profit off of them. Like I don't think they deserve much in the way of trust. Ooh, creatures from underground. Fancy. Kind of annoying. I can't avoid you as easily. Oh, you dick. I suppose we can like climb up the rocks, can we? Probably not. Nah, I didn't figure. This game's not much for going off the beaten path.
Ooh, little hidey hole. With a single gill bug, my favorite. So glad we went out of our way to collect that. Would have been a great place for like a chest or a rare creature or something. A little smaller than I expected though, so maybe not. Ground looks like it's gonna fall I'll in any take moment, it from man. Here. Careful on those rocks, Unc. <laughs> I don't want you to fall through, man. Wait, seriously? They just got an entire ten of them set up out here? And word of this hasn't somehow gotten loose? Coming, my lord. You've brought your contribution? All the silver and stones I could scrape together at such short notice. You brought the whole 500 talents. That was the price we agreed upon, yes? If you've no objections, I'd like to see the crystal. Of course. Right this way, my lord. Not bad at all you weren't lying about the clarity but what of security if i were to be stopped on the road what guarantee have i that it wouldn't be seized as property of the republic because these crystals are no longer the property of the republic you're not buying from us you're buying from them and we have no more jurisdiction here than you my lord but we have ships, and will gladly deliver to a port of your choosing, now that our price has been met. Mm. Royalists, eh? What brings you here? Didn't expect that one. Why, to collect their share of Drake's Fang's blessing, of course. Our nations are allies, and so they are entitled to a portion of the Mother Crystal's bounty. And, being such good friends, we elected to increase that portion and share the benefits. And now that these crystals are officially property of the Kingdom of Ulud, we are duty-bound not to interfere, no matter where they might happen to end up next. Did you get all that? They're in cahoots! <sighs> so it would seem. My lord, what is the meaning of this? Double-crossing dogs. <laughs> not here to do business. Kill them. Kill them both. I mean, we'll take the crystals. I don't... <laughs> we'll probably give them back to the townsfolk, but... We will take the crystals, though. I had the car play. <laughs> Aw, I'm sorry, love. <laughs> At least you figured it out. I believed in you. Didn't doubt for a moment you would. How did we kick him through a rock? <laughs> Never end. They have a chocobo doing their work? Bro, that's just rude. A royal courser? I'm making her what? The pickle girl you watch makes grilled cheese with Gouda and says it's really good. We're making it okay. I mean, I like grilled cheese. I'm down for grilled cheese with Gouda. 
I just like Gouda, man. It's, for whatever reason, cheaper than the other cheeses. It has a good flavor to it. Like, it melts pretty well. It's good cheese. And Munster. Well, Big fan of Munster, too. That wasn't too bad. How'd you like my performance, huh? I've often played the villain on the stage. I think I did the role justice. Don't you? Graybeard. You were magnificent. The battle scene was particularly thrilling. Such a shame you didn't have more of an audience, but perhaps that's for the best. How long have you been watching? Long enough to witness your uncle's sordid transaction. I hardly expected one so venerable to degrade himself so thoroughly. Buying <laughs> really don't one's like way him. into the confidence <laughs> of degenerates. God. Ingenious. This was the trouble you spoke of. The men of the rock taking crystals meant for the common folk and conspiring with the royalists. Well, now it's over. Indeed it is. The people of Dalamil had scarcely any means of address against Kupka's men, let alone a foreign army. Until you two came along, that is. Would that be enough to get the town by for a while? I actually don't know how quickly like the crystals well, get we used up. Get these crystals back to town. You won't mind waiting with them while I fetch a wagon. It seems you knew of all of this like the entire time. Why didn't you just bring a wagon with you, my guy? It occurs to me that I still don't know your name. Clive. <laughs> so, Sid the Second is a Clive. <laughs> What's wrong with Clive? I suppose it could have been worse. Seems like well, a perfectly normal name Clive. to me, I don't know. Mr. Lubor. End of the bargain, so I must do the same. Passage through the South Gate, was it not? To tell the truth, you've helped a little there too. Many of the guards have already been redeployed to deal with the issue of their missing comrades. And those left behind have been encouraged to look the other way should you attempt to pass through. Thank you. And please allow me to cover your costs. Uh, you still have the purse I gave to the soldiers, I trust. I saw you pluck it from one of the bodies. Oh, dear. Was I really so obvious? And my name is not Greybeard. It is Lord Byron Rosfield. Thank you very much. No, thank you very much. Greybeard. Oh my god. Hey, what did I say though, dude? Called it. Got the desert rose from Lubor. Any friend of mine who sees you with it shall be a friend of yours. Thank you, Lubor. And please, feel free to send one of my stolices back to your people. Tell them that. Rosina Dalamil is back in bed with Sid. Wonder how many side quests that'll open up. I'm guessing two. It's usually two. It's almost always two. To his Achilles. I just realized the I'm crystal in their head. Sid. And the Should crystal crystals. Clive? Is that the same so thing that's in Joshua's sure chest? Down. I have a reputation to uphold. <laughs> Is it just a piece of mother crystal? Well then, I wish you a safe journey south. Thank you. Not at all. It was my pleasure. Come on, Uncle. Let's go. You know, after the last cutscene where we shook hands, gave our little huhs and our, our head nod, I thought that would have been the end of it. <laughs> Did we really need this little goodbye sequence afterwards? Just feels like padding at that point, dude. Look at that! Two quests! I never would have thought. Oh, God. Uh, hello, you. I've never even forged a butter knife before. 
Perhaps Forge Master Luba's having fun at my expense. I wouldn't put it past him. Hmm, neither would I. Oh, wait. Are you Clive? Sorry, my mind was elsewhere. I'm Sava, Master Luba's least accomplished apprentice. Soon to be former apprentice if I don't pass this test. Maybe I'm just not the resourceful type. People are buying up weapons faster than the Briar's Kiss can forge them, and here I am, unable to make a decent bit of kitchenware. He wants me to make a carving knife, one that embodies the spirit of Dalamil. Whatever that's supposed to mean. I don't suppose you have any idea what he's on about, do you? I'm afraid not. Never mind. No. I'd ask. It was that or pack my bags. I could try and help give you though. A hand if you like. Somehow. How busy the Bryce kiss has been, and that Lubor needs all the capable hands he can find. I'd be a fool to refuse. My uncle's rich as hell. So, we could just buy some kitchenware and. <laughs> if I'm honest, I've never made any kind of knife before. And then there's this little riddle to keep in mind: the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> Nothing is ever simple with that man. The way I see it, Sounds there's only annoying. one way we'll be solving Lupo's puzzle. We need information. The more the better. You're right. There's no point fumbling no. in the dark, I suppose. Don't tell me we're talking no. to more citizens. Who to speak to first? Well, there's plenty of folk in Dalamil who use knives for a living. There's the butcher, of course, and any number of cooks. They're bound to have an opinion or two about the tools of their trade. All right. I think we have a plan. Let's get to it, shall we? I'll talk to every cook I can find. You speak to the butcher and anyone else you can think of. All right. Good luck. Let's hope that someone says something useful. Well, we've already had two quests where we just had to run around and talk to people. <laughs> like, I'd much rather just go and kill something at this point. Like, send me out into the desert. Have me do a hunt. Take a simple test I don't... <laughs> Bruh. I better get to it. Is it true what I'm hearing? The finest fabric! The most fragrant herbs and fresh fabric. Hello, Flesher. Welcome, sir. What can I do you for? Well, first off, I wouldn't mind some of that meat you're grilling back there. That looks pretty tasty. You a blacksmith or something? Something, I suppose. Fair enough. Knives, is it? First and foremost, it's got to hold an edge. Most knives will make it through fat no problem, but sinew dulls cheap steel in no time. Give me a blade which can slice through anything that crosses my chopping block, and I'm a happy woman. So a knife that stays sharp. Hmm. Makes sense. It is nice when your knife doesn't get dull. Do have to admit. It's not particularly useful otherwise. Everything I've worked for. All those years of toil. Every coin I've ever earned is tied up in this place. Are you all right? The baths are closed. Leave me be. On second thought, perhaps you are just what I need. Might your services be for hire? That depends on the job. I'd have you save my business, the baths. The water's turned scalding hot and all the crystals in Dalimil wouldn't be enough to cool it. I've no doubt that my woes stem from the water's source. But I can't go and investigate for fear of my customers thinking I've abandoned the place. I'm bound to these baths in more ways than one. I beg of you. Really? Go to you can't just like... Terraces. You don't Tell have someone second in command there. that you could leave here while you go and investigate? All right. I'll so what, you just have to sit here all Wonderful. day and night it's not far. whenever the baths are open? Leave the market by the south gate. Makes no damn sense. Sulfur will guide you the rest of the way. These baths are all that keep me from an ignoble end in a debtor's prison. My livelihood, my very life, is at stake. Bro, I'm so tempted to skip this one just because this guy's so fucking dramatic. Like, I just... <laughs> I just, just want to see him end up in prison now. <laughs> it's kind of mean. But my god, dude, chill. Okay, so there's someone else around here we need to talk to still. I'll be asking for you again. Oh, hi, Byron. Are there are knife people around here anywhere. 
can't even. Huh. They've opened the gate. Aha. Uh -huh. was true to his word. Oh. Is Byron back? Oh, hi, sir. What is it? Me no move for charter. Sorry. Do you mind if I ask your trade? Hunter, why? I have a question. Can you tell me what makes a good carving knife? I assume you use one out in the field. Oh. Um. Has to be able to put up with some punishment. Don't be dealing with a brittle blade, not while I'm on the hunt. If your knife snaps every time you use it, you'll be spending coin as fast as you make it. Times are hard enough as it is. Thank you. I won't keep you any longer. All business, eh? Man after my own heart. So, a carving knife should be hard wearing and hold an edge. Hardly a revelation. Right? That's, so, <laughs> that's exactly what I was thinking, man. Like, no shit, that's what you want in a knife, man. <laughs> You don't want it to break every time you use it, and it needs to hold an edge. Wow, amazing. Never could have figured that out on our own. Okay, well, we can't get over here that way, so I'm just going to go back and yell at the dumb guy. Ooh, I should like some incense. Might go do that in a minute. I could run in town. Hello, sir. So, how'd it go? Oh, it's been anything useful. Or swell. Should I be looking for a new trade? I'd say you should be looking for Only a new trade, honestly. Durable and stay sharp. But I don't see how that relates to the spirit of Dalamil. <sighs> I didn't have much luck either. All the cook said was that he needs his knives to be light. Too heavy, and they do his shoulder in. So we're no better off than when we started. Perhaps Lubor didn't mean anything with his Dalamil remark. But that can't be right. I've bandied enough words with the man to know that he chooses them carefully. No. We must be missing something. Something right in front of our noses. Are we most making likely. a glass knife? No doubt you're <laughs> I mean, right, but they're very brittle. I have to make a start soon. And I don't think I they off making this knife particularly forever. hold an edge, but all this like sand much. everywhere, like right. I've oh. been trained to work iron, the cheap stuff, mind. But it's hardy enough if you don't hammer it too thin, and it sharpens up nicely with a bit of effort. Trouble is. It's either durable or it's light. Meaning someone is going to be disappointed. Forge Master Lubor, probably. Is there no one else you can turn to? Someone who knows their metals, perhaps? Eh. The other apprentice is no better than to help me with my test. But maybe there is someone I could turn to. And that would be a favorite of Forge Master Lubor's, who sells metals to tradesmen passing through the Valcroy. I bet she'd know a thing or two. Oh wait, we still got okay. <laughs> I guess now we gotta search the desert for this guy. Sure, why not? Uh, I don't suppose... No, it's the other way. Well, at least it gets us out of town and not talking to random townspeople more. So, I'll I'll take it, man. It's different, at the very least. So going off the map and the rough location of that marker there, I'm assuming it's that thick. <laughs> the fallen piece of... of whatever. Somewhere inside there. Why would you set up your stall all the way out here, though, instead of town? I mean, there's a lot of people passing through, obviously. This is kind of the way of the quote-unquote road. Any luck? Or will you be needing help with your bags? Well, I asked her, but... You tell him. 
If you're looking to make a knife that will impress a master like Lubo, there are options. They're just not that viable. Featherlight adamantite knives will get passed from generation to generation, never needing so much as a lick of the whetstone. But adamantite ore is unique to ash, so it doesn't come cheap. Mm. And it's beyond my skill to handle. Unique to ash. Are there any materials unique to Dalamil? Something which could be mixed with iron to refine it. Make it lighter. What are you getting at? You said that Lubor trained you to work iron. Then that's what he'll expect you to use. But he would have known that it would either be too heavy or too brittle for a carving knife. Perhaps his Dalamil remark wasn't a riddle, but a hint. If it's cheap metal you're using, then there's always limestone, I suppose. Folk first settled Dalamil to get at her mineral deposits. And if you know the trick, it can be melted down in the furnace to drive out impurities from low quality iron. Bloody hell. That must be it. Wait, seriously? <laughs> I don't suppose you know the trick, do you? <laughs> That's <laughs> it's hardly my speciality, but I've been around enough What's it called? to know how it works. Oh, uh, people use like Looks like I've got some learning to do. That borax for that too and whatnot. I hate to ask after all that you've done for me. Uh, I can't remember what it's called, but that's that was the thing. Fine. I can hardly abandon you now. Besides, I want to know if this is the answer to Lubor's little riddle. I can't thank you enough, Clive. You'll have no trouble. I mean, I get that he's an apprentice, but from the sound of it, he's been around for a while. As an apprentice, I I'll meet you back at the forge. how has he not learned by now how to See refine sure. his iron at least a little bit? So, do you crush it up or just throw it in the furnace? Crush it, dude. Crush it into a fine powder. <laughs> oh god. Okay, now they're both over on that side, and through the south gate at that. Back to town then. Oh, we'll run. I was tempted to fast travel, but it'll probably be quicker just to run. There is a small loading time. Oh, you dick. Well, <laughs> why are you on the road, wild chocobo? Shouldn't you be out there in the sands or something? Not over here running into people, making us get in fights? Ah, we missed one. Well, take back the being quicker part, but <laughs> it's experience. It's fine. Maybe some ability points, speaking of. How are our ability points? We have, oh, only 711. Not that many. The main thing I want right now is probably just to increase our limit gauge. Nothing else seems that interesting to me. Although mastering the techniques from here so that I can swap them out with Garuda's wouldn't be too bad. At the very least... Yeah, I don't know. I kind of want both. Pile Drive and Judgment Bolt, not going to lie. Oh, of course, it's just an upgrade. Hmm. <laughs> Screw it. Might as well. Uh, yeah, I don't know, man. Because <laughs> another gauge on the limit break would be nice. I'm just going to save him for now. Because who knows? We might be getting another icon here before too soon. And in that case, I might just want to unlock whatever ability they have. So might as well save the points. See what happens. Is it true? What, My carpets have right of the Fresh, what about your carpets? Lights and boots! Just look at the hanging lanterns! Keep 
I think we're good on all that stuff, my guys. We should get going soon. Wait, so are the gates just open to everybody now? Ah, I'm not too late. What is it, Lubel? Bro, is this a limestone a quarry? Question that I neglected to ask earlier. Where is it that you're bound? To Drake's Fang. To finish Hugo Kupka. Ah, just as I thought. Then allow me to share a secret. Drake's Fang is currently riddled with royalists. That's fine. I'll so take care of them too. Our allies, and as you have seen, their soldiers work hand in glove. But no nation has ever before allowed a foreign army to make a barracks of its holiest of holies. Not by choice, at least. And there's more. A man on the inside of the Fang has failed to report for several days. I can help I you with that. There may be more trouble lying in wait for you on the road ahead. <laughs> Isn't there always? If you're determined to beard the lion's den, then promise me one thing. That you will enter via the mines, where the guard is lightest. I don't suppose the mines are where the mother crystal is. If I lose another, people will start to think me careless. Cause... I'm dying. I don't not mind the idea of taking care of the crystal while we're here. I know that's not the goal, but like... Just throwing it out there as an idea. Drake's Fang should be just beyond these springs. Yeah, we'll get to it. Shall we press on? So, like, not only is he trained to work iron and didn't know about adding... Fuck, I really wish I could remember what it's called. Like adding stuff to, <laughs> to help purify the metal. Hopefully this is what Seven needs. But there's also a giant limestone quarry just outside of town. Come on, girl. And like, <laughs> bro, I, I, I feel like that would have been one of the first lessons. That's all I'm saying. You should have known. I do. Trader, are you? Seeking your fortune? Nah, I don't care. Thought maybe you had something more interesting to say, to be honest. Right. How do I get over there? Oh, damn. Okay, gotta keep going. Further! Didn't expect us to have to run so far to get to the damn place. There we go, this one? This looks like the one. Person? Something awful's taken up residence in the springs. Nah, whatever. Here. I'll deal with them. Don't worry about me. So what's the point of the bathhouse if there's a natural spring like this close to town? I mean, I guess like the elderly or something maybe wouldn't be able to like walk all the way over here, but like it's that not that far. Heat. Oh, they're bath bombs, dude. That's cute. <laughs> Okay, I actually need to pay a little bit of attention here. Old Faithful. Is that a... Is that a play on the hot spring? What's the... Is it Yellowstone? Damn you. I don't like you, Old Faithful. Okay, well that can't pick you up, but you also don't have a... 
a stagger gauge, weirdly enough. That was purely accidental, but that was cool. Our uncle seems to be having trouble taking care of that other one. Kind of concerning how long it's taking him to deal with one little bomb. Okay, deaded, and now to help Uncle with this. <laughs> Our uncle truly is not much of a fighter. Really? You don't That's even get anything done. special for that. I guess the That's magic ash from boiling. kind of makes sense, but... All the items are just a bit too generic, I feel like, man. They could have some interesting stuff, because there's plenty of interesting creatures, but... At the end of the day, they all just give the same things. Okay. Cool. I'll run back. Oh, I should fast travel. It'd be quicker, but I'm just not a fan. I, I saw with my own two eyes what you did to those devils down there. Yep, you're welcome. Enjoy the springs. But I feel like if I fast travel, I'm going to miss something. Because there could have been like a chest or something. Snuck away on the side over here. Around a bend from the other direction so we wouldn't have seen it. Like that potion right there. Not that potions particularly matter anymore, but still. You never know, man. They could have a chest with some cool, unique piece of gear around here. Maybe this is where they're hiding the ultimate weapon of the game. No. Come on, go on the gate, son. Definitely not. I can't help but wonder. I don't want to, like, spoil myself, so I haven't looked it up. But I can't help but wonder where or how you acquire the best Finally, weapon in the game. If it's just like part of the story and you can't miss it, or if there's something special you gotta do. My guess is maybe the hunts, just based off of what we've done so far. The baths grow more bearable by the moment. It won't be long now before we are back to business as usual. I'm glad to hear it. Now, tell me this. What did you find at the terraces? What threatened to make me a pauper? Not what I expected, that's for certain. You tell a fine story. That's not to say I don't believe you, though. Creatures made of flame, eh? That's something you. Wait, seriously? But I Bombs aren't like a known thing. Here, a small something by way of thanks. Right. We've come it's across them a few I times. I didn't think they were some the mythical creature or something. I thought they were known entities at this point. Scarletite? One of the hardest net metals known to man. Have we gotten one of them before? Hmm. I don't know. From the stoutest it's way. weird how we just started collecting Renown as, like, a thing. Take a sniff, good sir. Take Not a all that long ago. I just don't understand, like, why we weren't getting Renown for all the side quests and shit we've been doing since the beginning of Wasn't the game. Sure how much you need, but I hope this is enough. I guess maybe they didn't want people to have a chance to, like miss some renown by not doing side quests before the point you of no return. The good ones, you know that. You and that merchant both, she's got quite a gift for teaching that one. Now, time to see if limestone is the secret weapon we were hoping for. Flux. That's what it's called, right? You add some flux to the molten metal to help pull out the impurities. That'll do, I reckon. 
A knife forged from the very rocks of Dalamil. A spirit, if you will. It's a fine-looking blade. <sighs> I only hope Master Lou It looks like agrees. a... That's as arrowhead. Like you. <laughs> and just as well. I was getting tired of waiting. I'm, I'm sorry, Forge Master Lubal. Let's take a look then, shall we? First things first, Sava, do you think this is a carving knife worthy of the fine people of Dalamil? I... I'd like to think so. Uh, but, but what do you think? What Believe in I yourself a little indeed. bit. How about that? That's... <laughs> It's sharp-ish, but it won't last long with hard use. And it's heavy, heavier than it should be. You might not think it just to hold it for a moment, but sell that to a cook and you'll never hear the end of it. It looks like someone paid a visit to the terraces. The limestone was a step in the right direction, granted, but one that still leaves you short of the mark. And I was so certain I had it all worked out. I don't know who you found to teach you that little trick, but it certainly shows initiative. Next question. How much do you think I would charge if I'd made this? Well, if it took you even a fraction of the time it took me, I would say you could demand a heavy purse. And who would be able to pay that, hmm? The butcher, the hunter, the cooks over at the inn. Dalamil is home to humble traders, not wealthy lords and ladies. Rule number one in any business, Sava, know your customers. Yes, Forge Master. This is just about passable, but only just. I'd say you're worth keeping around a little longer. Starting tomorrow, you'll have an anvil of your own. I will. <laughs> Thank you. Um, I was wondering, uh, what would you do if you were asked to forge a carving knife? I'd do what I always do. Ask who it's for. If it was for the butcher, I'd make sure it holds an edge. For the hunter, I'd make it as tough as Titan. For the cook, light as a feather. And for the nobleman, I'd make it cost an <laughs> I mean, absolute fair. fortune. There goes a master, all right. It looks like congratulations are in order. I couldn't have done it without you. So really, so much for the his problem all along the spirit of was just not asking who it was for. Nothing to do with limestone or anything much at all. Meaning, I had you run around for no good reason. Well, I mean, you, you learn a little test. something at least. That's all that matters. You'll have a forge of your own in no time. And when I do, I'll craft you the finest carving knife you have ever seen. Well, I do appreciate that, sir. Don't find myself doing a whole lot of carving, to be honest, but I'll accept. A note. Exchange for one greatsword forged for to the specification here under Red Rooster Trading will pay the sum of 1,000 gil. No less than eight hands in length, weighted pommel, briar clam inlay, serrated edge suited for cutting bone. Hmm. Need, I guess. Light me A little pointless. <laughs> like... <laughs> But, okay. So, they're a business that receives orders. Good to know. Not that it seemed contrary to that. We should get going soon. Are there any creatures on this path? It just crossed my mind that I don't think we fought any creatures on the way up through here. Well, that's a boring road. Maybe it's still considered part of... Town? No. Doesn't appear to be. I guess maybe it's just so heavily traveled and guarded. Being between 
you know, that, that suburb basically in Drake's Fang. Okay, so this way's closed, right? Yeah. We can just ignore that for now. weird seeing a river run through desert like that. They certainly picked a good spot to build their town, I suppose. Oh wait, was it Drake's jaw, not Fang? I don't know, I'm dumb. Don't... There it is. No, Drake's, Drake's Fang, okay. Fang. I saw a jaw obelisk and I was like, oh, maybe this is jaw. Cuckoo will be hiding inside. Along with goodness knows how many guards, all on highest alert, you'll need to keep your wits about you if you're to reach him. So be careful. I will, Uncle. Before you go, Clive, allow me to apologize. Or? After what befell at Phoenix Gate and the crisis that followed in its wake, I fled. I retreated to my counting house and danced attendance upon the Vicerine in the hope it would bring me favor. I betrayed my nation to save my skin, like the coward I am. Bro, I mean, <laughs> how would you be better off dead? And like, I'm sorry. I think you made the right choice, my guy. Uncle, please. And you've done nothing but try to help it's your people not since. Late, Clive. Rosaria is yours by right. And there are those that would help you to take it back. Had Technically I the not of true. My brother, I might already have done so. But that ship has Joshua was still alive, you, so if however, anything, wouldn't it be no. his, technically? Forgive me, but I cannot. I fight. To build a new world now. A better world. Where men can live and die on their own terms. I was raised in a nation that strove to improve the plight of bearers. Later did I realize that spark of freedom did not arise by chance, but was kindled by my father. You would see me follow in his footsteps. And that is exactly what I mean to do. Not by ruling Rosaria, but by extending his ideals to the whole of the twins. Though every soul in the realm may judge my actions heresy. I am certain my cause is just. You really are just like him, you know. Thank you, Clive, for coming back to me. I am proud to call you nephew. Well then, this is where we must part ways. Wish me luck in convincing my Canvarian friend to share his considerable talents. I mean to plunder his coffers and prove myself worthy of a place in your merry band. <laughs> Till then, my boy. Till then. Go safely, uncle. And you nephew we have much to catch up on you and i i should expect you to regale me with the tales of all your adventures when next we meet <laughs> you can regale me too Torval. <laughs> honestly 
I think I'd rather Byron take over Rosalia. He's a nice guy. He's got the money for it to, like, rebuild the kingdom and shit. I think we should just instate our uncle as ruler. <laughs> and, of course, I can't stress enough, kill our mom in the process. Throwing it out there as an idea, that's all. Wait, did we actually... No, we didn't even actually go through there. Yeah, whatever. I highly doubt there's anything worth exploring in that area anyway, so let's just go straight on to the town. Or the Fang. Is there a town here? I'm assuming there is, right? Yeah, okay. <laughs> I forgot we cut off his hands. Get fucked, Kuka. <laughs> oh god, I love it. Screw this guy. Do they work? Like, can he close them? It's like he was struggling to pick up that fork there, but is it even possible for him to do so? My God, dude! Why are you taking it out on her? I'll tear you limb from limb. Peace, Hugo. The table shan't hurt you any longer. He sought to humiliate me, me. If you hadn't interfered, he would be dead. You truly believe you would have triumphed had the battle continued? Titan would have ground him into dust. And how would he have done that without his head? Shut up! You weren't strong enough, and you call yourself a dominant. Or rather, you did. You mock me, Harbert. <laughs> I love this humiliation, Akuka. It's you mean, see, I shouldn't, you but go. like, <laughs> you are screw weak. this guy. <sighs> But so long as that fire burns within you, there is still hope. There may yet be a way for you to take your revenge. Tell me, what must I do? Please, I'll do anything. Just tell me. The crystal's heart is the most concentrated source of evil. Wait, in all is he creation. gonna destroy the crystal Perhaps for us? You could take advantage of that. That's of unexpected. Course, the crystal would not yield her blessing to any ordinary man. But then, you are no ordinary man, are you, Hugo? Clive Rossfield stole your power. But others have suffered a similar fate, and still manage to find the strength to conjure their icon. Like Benedicta Harmon. So something I just realized, man, we have that like Tome Master and whatnot. And, gained a power beyond human and we use that to look up the secrets of Torgal. But is there no mention of people that can, like, steal iconic abilities the way we can? Or Ifri? Like, we didn't look into that at all? Oh, so this dude's playing you like a fiddle, man. You might got mass, but you ain't got much brains, man. <laughs> You've fallen right into his trap. Run along now, Hugo. You need only follow the light. Muthos is here. Very 
well. It shall be so. You How? may leave everything to me, your majesty. Uh, what? <laughs> Is this guy working with Ultima somehow? What was that about? He knows we're here. He had those weird fallen creature things. Who is that guy? Oh, good. There's been a slaughter of late. By... What is that? What the hell are these things? Orcs. Oh, orcs. I didn't expect that, man. Did the royalists bring them from ash? I didn't expect to see orcs in my Final Fantasy game. <laughs> I, I think they may have been in some of the classic the ones, but. The the hell did that happen? Oh, there's not going to be much sneaking, man. We might look like we're going to sneak around, but nah, as soon as we come across those guys, we're going to be kicking their ass. There's something... Are you alive? <laughs> There's something like moving around the room, and I... It doesn't look like a bug, but the way it's moving around, it must be some sort of small flying bug, whether it's like a... A tiny little gnat or mosquito or something? It looks like a fluff ball. <laughs> no, it's definitely something like moving around in the room. I have gotten like those squigglies in my eyes before and stuff, but this is this is definitely a thing. Wait, did we just get a potion as a drop from these guys? That's cool. I don't think we've ever actually gotten items before from things. Just mats. Get wrecked. Uh, no map. Okay. This way? No. Where are we going? Ah, here we go. Thank God for the arrows, man. I would have been lost. Nate, you're back. Hello. Orcish fodder. How about dead orcish fodder? Bruh. <laughs> Whenever we do end up fighting Kuka, we have to try and kill him using powers of Titan. Just to rub it in his face, man. Oh, you bastard. Been here just playing a game? What so game, man? The of the rock. <laughs> That's awesome, dude. No, seriously? That is really cool. I should <laughs> get on a diet of some sort personally, but like, bleh. <laughs> I've been so just bleh. But like, uh, that's really cool, dude. Congratulations. Awesome work, man. Do you have like a, a goal in mind or are you trying to get to like 275 or something or like any specific number really or just kind of doing it and seeing how far you can go? Either way, good work, man. Oh, 
Oh. Kingdom Come Deliver. Oh, yeah. I should have known that. You were playing that the other day. I just forgot. Well, oh, there's a thing here. I don't know if it's the way we're going, but collect the thing. Kind of like push through that door, maybe? Ooh, chest. 75, 280. Want to lose a bit more before October when your top surgery consultation is? Ah, okay, okay, okay. That makes sense. I don't know much about that sort of thing. Is it, uh... I know, like, for certain surgeries, you have to be... Like, within a specific weight range or... Like, the passive physical sort of thing or whatever, depending on the surgery. Are there requirements for that sort of thing? Or is it just like a personal goal you want to do before your consultation. Oh, so you've actually beat Kingdom Come before? Outside of the DLC? You may have told me that and I've just forgotten. I don't know, but I didn't realize though. <laughs> That's insane, dude. <laughs> just one boob is 10 pounds. At least 10 pounds. That's... <laughs> God damn. <laughs> so, basically, if it weren't for the boobs, you would already be at your goal weight, essentially. <laughs> like, that's insane, man. Why are these things, like, blowing up when they're dying? That's weird. How would you say the game compares to stuff like uh, like Skyrim, or I don't know if you played Witcher 3 or anything like that, but would you say it compares well to those sorts of games? Because like from what I played of it, I still definitely prefer, you know, like Skyrim, Witcher, trying to think of other like... RPG games of that sort, but my brain just is not working. I'm too dead right now, dude. Fuck boobs and things. But boobs are amazing. <laughs> oh, but <laughs> but no, I it would suck. Like the back pain and shit as well. Like, bruh. But you know, as a dude that enjoys boobs, I can't hate on them. I just, I can't do it. Folks don't think it's much, but I'm really happy that even though I haven't walked in a bit, thanks so many, my progress is there, right? Dude, this heat is killing me too. I've been wanting to go, like, because I hike sometimes and shit, and I've been wanting to go, but these past two days, man, like, I just can't even imagine spending any time outside. Like, <laughs> I just can't. I've been dying at work inside a building, like hiking up a, a large hill. <laughs> like, that sounds like death right now. Noodle and I have a vacation in, in August. We don't know what we're doing yet. Won't be going any further um, this way. But a lot of times we'll like go camping or something like that because that's something that I love to do. And if this heat is like this, man, there's... Oh. There's no way. Stairs. We have no this idea. I've be been like that since I was a child and I have sciatic. Ugh. Ugh. No way it does? What kind of way? Are you talking to a hardcore? <laughs> I, mean, I wouldn't even call myself a boob, man. Like, I just like feminine, femininity. <laughs> I like boobs. I like butts. I like thighs. I like legs. I like... I like women. <laughs> that's, that's what I like. <laughs> women and their parts. <laughs> Ass over tits all day, every day. See, honestly, like... 
I think it depends on the state of dress. If we want to be completely, like, uh, honest about it, right? Like, covered boobs do not look as good as a covered butt. But naked boobs, I think, look better than a naked butt. Under most circumstances, right? There's always, you know, different, different... Ooh, you're big. Um, <laughs> there's always, like, different people have better-looking butts or boobs or whatever. But, uh, generally speaking, like, a, a butt and a nice pair of leggings or something like that, or in some booty shorts, looks fantastic. But if we're talking when the clothes come off, nine times out of ten, dude, it's all about the boobs. Femboys are fucking cute too. They can be. Like, <laughs> just like anybody can be. I've had the conversation, like, at work with people before because I've talked about, uh. What's his name? I'm blanking at the moment. Nate, who's the femboy that I've talked about a few times? <laughs> I watch him on YouTube and, and occasionally Twitch. I cannot. My mind is blanking. But, anyways, like I've said that, you know, he's cute before. <laughs> And people have questioned my sexuality, and I'm like, look, cute is cute. It doesn't really matter, like, <laughs> what the what the gender is there, what they identify as, or what they were born as. It's just, if they're cute, they're cute. It's that simple, my guy. I'm a major masculine person, muscles. See, I'm not a huge fan of muscles, to be honest with you. Like, in men... I, uh, like, somewhere between fit and dad bod, but, like, the big display of muscles, you know, like, getting ripped sort of thing just doesn't do it for me. And for women, soft all the way, dude. It's all about soft. You like legs? Then why do you like shorter girls on leg? <laughs> My god, dude. You're beautiful. Hush. <laughs> Oh, God. Legs don't have to be long to be good. That's all I'm saying. Oh, that's not the attack I wanted to do. Ah. What a typical man. <laughs> what? <laughs> what did I say that was wrong? Everybody has their preferences. I don't think there's anything wrong with that. I think more polish in the sequel will be more of a contender, but the current one has its own traits that make it well worth a playthrough. Yeah, I mean, from what I've played of it and what I've seen of it, I do definitely want to beat it, like I've told you before, but... But I don't think it's as good as, like, the, uh as like Skyrim and shit like that. From what I've played of it at least. I haven't played a ton of it. You can check these, especially if they're a fucking sweetheart. Cool. Cool. Thighs and ass all the way. So I, I'm a big fan of thighs, that's for sure. Again, like it comes uh it comes with like how how it's presented, right? It's over. Like, just thighs on their own? Don't get me wrong. Thick thighs save lives, my boy. Let's go. But you throw on, like, a pair of thigh-high socks or stockings or something, and then thighs get, like, a hundred times better. In the same way that, like, in the right clothes, ass looks a hundred times better. But boobs? I just think boobs look best naked. Nine times out of ten, instead of, like, being the other way around with the other stuff, you get some naked boobs, and they're just, like, mwah. Thick thighs wearing some seriously fucking cute laundry. Fuck exactly, exactly, dude. One hundred percent. Man, you are so basic. <laughs> is that a basic opinion? I don't know. Maybe it is, but it's true. So like, I'm not ashamed of it if that is the case. Once you get being able to free roam more, I just need to play more of it. Is what it sounds like. Like, I don't know. They're just like from what I remember from like the combat system it wasn't my favorite it was neat how they made it like more realistic and shit like that but 
Um, yeah. It wasn't my favorite. And then I mentioned to you before specifically, Nate, that like the way they did the saving in the game isn't my favorite because of the possibility of like crashes or just needing to go and do something. Like, wait, is this the way we came? That's why I wish we had a map. Definitely agree, clothes less dressing can definitely sway the feeling. That's all I'm saying. That's all I'm saying, man. Yeah, I think this is the way we came. I was thinking maybe there would be like secrets here or something, but no. Yeah, no, okay. We just got turned around. Back the other way. anything through this door? Probably not. Probably can't even open it. Nope. Pull the lever, crunk! Kind of wish another one of them things would have just dropped from the ceiling. <laughs> Wrong lever! No. No fun. By the flames... Come on, Togo. Oh my god. I didn't see what you said. That's why. <laughs> Once I read that message, I looked up and saw it. God, you're so dumb. <laughs> you're not shaped like the letter P, you dummy. Kuka never did do things by halves. As if Somebody said that to her like one time, and now that's all she says. To build this castle in it. <laughs> oh. It is kind of weird how, like, this one's got a whole castle built around the crystal, like he was just talking about. It's neat, though. I'm surprised more of the people didn't do that. I feel like it would make it more defendable. Although, I guess previously, they probably never really had to worry about people trying to destroy the crystals, just taking them. I don't think, like, you're dumb. I think some of your opinions and words are dumb. <laughs> like, when you say you're shaped like the letter P. That's dumb. Undertaker, huh? Damn it, damn it! Too late. <laughs> I saw the wrong damn icon. Uh, no, please? Spirits within? Like, the movie? Oh, God, that hurt. Have a good night, Rue. Thanks for coming out and saying hello. I'll boom no butt long legs. You do have a butt though, that's the thing. <laughs> like <laughs> oh, she's dumb. Just don't listen to her. She's lying anyways, just don't believe her. <laughs> uh that was close. Oh, that hurt. Damn your spirits within. Put your giant laser away and fight me like a man, you bastard. How long is this gonna last for? Are we done? It's done. Oh, never mind. It wasn't quite done, but too late. Honestly, that hunt we did last night was harder than this thing is so far. This thing ain't all that bad. 
This year in the areas need some work. You enjoy the melee combat, but it needs work. And although you like the challenge of the archery system, I think there should be an option of having the dot or unlocking it from leveling archery. I don't really mind the lack of like a reticule or whatever. And doesn't it have like major arrow drop as well? Like a realistic arrow drop? I didn't really mind that, but I didn't get to play with archery much though. Because I had basically just unlocked it whenever I stopped playing the game. It was mostly the melee combat that I wasn't a fan of, to be honest. But that's the sort of thing that my opinion could definitely change on. Oh, no. As I play more of the game and just get more used to it. Oh, damn you. That should have taken him to stagger if we had him screwed it up, man. You know what? This should take him to stagger, though. This is gonna hurt. Yup. <laughs> Caught it. <laughs> I knew that was gonna hurt. Dunzo, though. GG Undertaker. WWE star. <laughs> I don't know. I have nothing. I'm tired. How nice of them to just let me in. Seems we're expected. So this is the power of Muthos. I mean, so far all we've really shown you is us being a basic ass swordsman. I guess we have some better magic than most, but Okay, basic ass might not be the right words. Like, we're really good swordsmen, but <laughs> still so far I've just shown you being us being a swordsman. Melee gets better the more you train. Combos are kind of a dick. I feel it. Yeah, I remember like... Uh, one of the reviews or, or articles or something I was reading about the game was talking about like how the melee does a really good job of making you feel like a newbie with a sword, right? Which you are at the beginning of the game. And then making you feel more like a, a soldier the farther you go in the game, which is really cool. I like it in, in theory. But in practice of like actually using it, I just found it to be kind of annoying. <laughs> But again, it might get better with time, though. I, I haven't played that much of it. Only the first handful of hours. Oh, don't have that. We'll use this. Two down, where's the last one? What the hell is going on? Ah, Torgal got him. Are these things here for me? Or for him? Thank you, boy. This isn't gonna be worth it. Like I said, <laughs> it definitely wasn't worth it. One steel silk, that's what we got for that. Welp. Ooh, 
Ooh, is this the throne room? Bravery. Some opponents will use the ability Bravery to invigorate nearby allies, enhancing their performance in battle. Look for the icon and defeat these targets quickly to avoid extra damage. Well, you're like the mage, right? So if we just deal with you, then hopefully no more bravery on anyone. Besides the one that already has it, that is. Always gotta be more. Ah, can we not grab him because he has the bravery, or or are those ones just ungrabbable? I really wish the teleport wasn't an ability, man. I wish it was just part of like your normal moveset. Because I've just gotten so used from playing through the game of using it to close the gap on enemies. And then, you know, I switch to someone else like Titan here. And I'm trying to teleport and I'm just sitting over here freaking shoving my arm in the air over and over again like a dumbass. I needed that. No chest or anything? Where's the royal coffers? Can we rob them? Go a long way in helping out the hideaway, man, if we just First orcs, make ourselves richer than our uncle. Is. is this your doing, Ultima? They're being generous with the potions, that's for sure. Okay, there's definitely gonna be some sort of combat in this in this room, man. You don't get a big empty hallway like this, and yet. <laughs> Ooh, a lich! We haven't seen one of you in a while. Hits. Fuck my guy. I'm never going to be able to time that on purpose. Just like the parries. Every parry I've ever done has been purely accidental. But my god is it sick when it happens. Ow. I do really like the blocking ability. I wish that's something uh, that we would unlock sooner. Bye, Lich. Now, which direction were we heading? Here? I guess so. It's fading to black. Looks like the right way to go to me. You've been busy, Kuka. But where did you go? With the crystal. Again, I know we didn't come here to destroy it, but like, Hot. just throwing it out there. It's right there, man. <laughs> We've gone through all the trouble of breaking in here. I can feel it. 
Come Surely if we don't destroy it this time, like while we're here, they're going to put a lot more guards on it. It's going to be a hell of a lot harder to get back. So I seriously think we should probably just destroy the thing while we're here. That's all I'm saying. Interesting. What's this way? Nothing. Okay. Ah, uh, bro, we're so close. I can taste it. Did we finally get another Ifrit fight? Bro, there's so many. Holy shit. Okay, I think the bravery ones we just can't pick up. Because we had another Wraith picked up and running it around. That's interesting. So it doesn't just increase their damage. It also gives them, like, a little bit of, uh... A little bit of another other buffs. This one. Dicks. I don't like teleporting people. Expected more to pop up. Is this the crystal room? Is that Kuka? Or is that weird dude? That's Kuka. My everything. I, I've missed you so much. Kuka! I swear to you, my love. Is he crazy? We will never be parted again. Is Ultima, like, making him see this? Because we're not seeing this, right? Yeah, no. Okay, yeah, this is 100% some kind of, like, Ultima Vision thing. <laughs> oh my god, dude. <laughs> that time for a drink? I can't tell. Too late. Yep. Destroy the crystal. One of you, I don't even care which one of you. Oh, 
Which cloaked figure? Bruh, seriously, at this point, I have no idea. <laughs> Is that Joshua? Is that the other cloaked guy? I, I just, I do not know. Oh. Seriously, you were that close to the crystal. You should have just destroyed it, man. Or wait. No, okay. I thought maybe when Titan primed, it like blew up. It's Axel. I mean, <laughs> it could be, man. <laughs> Tetsuya Nomura secretly make this game? Is that what happened? Big boy. I've been curious how this fight would work. Geo Crush? I'm <laughs> just attacking his ankles. What is voice of the land? Oh, okay. Okay, okay, okay. Ow. <laughs> oh, okay, yeah. Axel just decided to leave Kingdom Hearts on his own. That makes sense. Uh, dodge maybe oh, okay it's hard to tell when this guy is attacking <laughs> and when he's just angry I ran into that come on hit him hit him hit him hit him get him half staggered there you go Okay, there's got to be more to this fight than this, right? So far, this has been way too easy. I mean, I know like every fight we've had against the Icon so far, it's been multiple parts. So I fully expect it to be more. Nice stagger, get wrecked. Nice miss, double miss. <laughs> GG us. Wish we had like abilities we could use or something, but no, we're just kinda. Oh, here we go. Stage two. Oh, okay. We can't get up there. I thought it was like a chase sequence or something. Nah. Nice trick. R1? Learn brimstone. Very fancy. Okay. So we are unlocking like abilities as an icon. Sound the bounds of his initial program is now a self-realized AI. Or he's don't want to rule humans. He just wants to freely stroll through different games. I mean, you know, honestly, that's pretty cool, man. I can dig it. Axel can invade my games if he wants. I don't think our brimstone's gonna stop this one, dude. R2 plus square to emit a violent explosion. Hold R2 square longer to increase explosion size and strength. Okay. 
And vulnerable to damage while charging brimstone. Oh. Let's give this a try. Interesting. Oh, okay, that makes sense. I was trying to use it again, but just like our other abilities, of course, it's going to be limited to, like, the charge bar there. I'm not even sure if we hit him with that. <laughs> I mean, I guess we can just charge it for... Oh, but if he hits us with range, then it would be pointless. Hmm. <laughs> okay. Fine, we'll just keep attacking his ankles. Oh, I didn't mean to. Oh, God. Screwed that up. Yes. Yes, we are. <laughs> I am an unknown god, one that nobody knew existed, and that is Titan. And I am kicking his ass, because that's what we do. We can also half steal the abilities of gods, but only half. Like, we can't turn into them, but we can steal some of their magic from the uh, from the people that control the gods or that the gods have gifted with their full strength, whatever you want to call it. And there's an even, like, more mysterious godlike being called Ultima that we also know, like, nothing about. So that's, that's a thing. Damn it. I keep thinking it's not triggering, so then I let go of it, just to find out that it did trigger, and I'm just an idiot, and end up doing the smallest explosion possible. Usually the fights are a lot more interesting between the gods than, you know, us just smacking their ankle over and over again, <laughs> but Titan's a bit too big for us, so... <laughs> Rude? I get rude? <laughs> oh, we just fucking tossed Titan. That was sick. Uh, what is this? A piece of crystal? He's eating it? <laughs> what? Okay, that's new. We've never seen one of them eat the crystals before. What is that gonna... I mean, that can't be good for us. Or him, for that matter. I guess maybe that's why the first two stages of this fight were so easy. He didn't go Super Saiyan yet. Holy shit. <laughs> Bruh, get back in there, destroy the crystal, and kill him. Whoa! Okay, hold up. This is new. <laughs> Holy shit balls. Okay. 
he got big, dude. Uh, okay, so R1 is evade. Uh, we can like blow up some of them, okay. When did Titan grow tentacles, man? That is, that was not on my bingo card for the day. I did not expect Titan to grow freaking tentacles. Uh, what? Okay, I didn't expect these crystals to start popping up either. Holy shit balls, dude. I mean, it's a square game that has to be at least a little anime. I'm pretty sure that's written in Japanese law somewhere. Oh, fuck. We're gonna die before we even make it to him. Tentacle should always be expected. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Got a oh shit, that was the wrong button. That hurt. Damn it, that was the first one of them I've missed. I thought it was gonna be like a challenge thing, dude. Where we had to overpower him, so I was mashing square. That was dumb. We're still alive though. It's fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> we just look slightly less badass now. <laughs> See, this is what I thought was gonna happen. Oh, nice. <laughs> I got you, man. I knew what you meant. Oh, hi there. Fancy looking titan. Ow. Can I, like, actually hit you now? Yes. That miss. That was a waste. Uh, okay. Man's got a lot of health. Uh, get back. Ow. Damn you. Stay down here so I can actually punch you. God, that's a lot of stuff. What's going to happen when we get him staggered? <laughs> yeah, yeah, we are. <laughs> you're, you're not wrong, my guy. You're not wrong at all. Normally, he's not this big. We ain't never seen Titan like this before. Damn. 
damn it, dude. Oh, cool. I dodged through it. Oh, what? Get wrecked, Titan. This is not, I wanted to do so, I was hoping to do so much more damage than this, dude. Oh, apparently it was enough to go to next phase. Because it stopped the stagger early, so that means we triggered something. A note for me, dog. I don't know how much damage that does, but it feels like something we should be doing. Granite rain? Oh, okay. Oh, don't go in the dark spots. Dark spots bad. Damn it. I always forget to jump when that happens. Every time, dude. <laughs> I'm so bad. music is hype as shit, dude. <laughs> uh, oh god. Am I even hitting him? There we go. That's too far over. Aha! I remembered to jump. I'm learning. Just barely, but I'm learning. Get staggered, you dick. That's about half. I've learned my lesson. <laughs> Gotta wait for it to pop up the button before I start mashing anything. Oh, okay. That was a short phase. Like, phase scene, whatever you wanna call it. Oh, that's a jump one. Okay. <laughs> His attacks are speeding up a little bit here. That was... I like how they uh, kept like the little elements of gold in his design. 
because like Koopka always wears the has like a bunch of gold in his design. Ow. Okay, he kind of backhands now. Just keep shooting, just keep shooting. He's gonna claw? Yep, claw. to the next phase. Let's go. Square? Square. That hurt. <laughs> oh, that was sick. Oh, let's go, dude. Take his hand again. I love it. Can we do the other one, too? Not even his hand this time. That was like his whole freaking arm. What's your plan? Just send us to the stratosphere? Like... Or you should have known what was going to happen here. Like... What are we aiming for? Oh! Oh, we have like an actual aiming reticule. I see, I see, I see, I see. Oh, no, not the little ones. Okay, just the, the glowing ones. Oh, God, there's so many of them. Oh, no. Oh, and there's a thing. How high in the air did he take us, my guy? Oh, that was close. And that. We getting close? <laughs> Let's go. Oof. Big oof. <laughs> Big oof, dude. That looks like it hurt. The crystal. Destroy the crystal. Oh. Titan's not dead. This is like the Phoenix fight, man. How long am I going until this fight is over and whatever cutscenes come after it? Wait, can I actually like, oh, cool. 
I didn't realize we actually had like our full suite of attacks. I thought we were just limited to our magic. I thought this dude was dead already. How's he still standing? Well, not standing so much. Falling. <laughs> How's he still falling? <laughs> he just split the freaking earth to catch back up to us. That was sick, dude. Yeah, I, I had no way to dodge that that I could see. Oh my god, these attacks hurt, though. I gotta be careful, man. <laughs> We're gonna die at the end of this fight. That would suck. I hope we wouldn't have to do the whole thing over again. so late. So hard to hit him. <laughs> like with melee, that is. He's so close to stagger, dude. There we go. Let's go. Okay. Just die already, please. How are we still falling? There's no way that hole's this big. <laughs> Dagger. Oh.
He is stupidly close, man. Just die. Titan does not need this much help. Just accept your defeat, dude. Join your precious Benedicta in the afterlife. Bite our hand? Or are we trying to punch through his jaw? <laughs> I couldn't quite tell. <laughs> yeah. Now we're going Super Saiyan. <laughs> we just got two big ass gauntlets, dude. Not as impressive as whenever he did it, but I'll accept. I'll take it. Of course, I guess we didn't just eat the crystal either. We just kind of grab some. Is that it? Titan Dunzo? Get fucking wrecked, Titan. No renown for that, really? We just murdered Titan and nothing? I mean, Clive. How many times do I have to say it, my guy? It's right there. Thank you. For seeing reason. My guy. My guy. I couldn't, like, that entire fight, that's all I could think about is please tell me he's gonna destroy the freaking crystal, man. <laughs> like... It would be so dumb not to do it, but he just that entire time hadn't done it. Oh. Yep. So, Axel, what are you doing? Is that you, Ultima? What do you want? Your soul is tainted with worthless human will, yet your thirst for power remains undiminished. With every sip you take, you grow in strength, and soon you shall achieve perfection. I don't know what you're talking about. You will accept us, Mythos. It is inevitable. But that was Mythos. 
You were created for this purpose, and you shall serve it. Never! <laughs> Oops. Are you gonna put us in a coma? You gonna roofie us? Is that, is that Autumn's plan now? Slip us some roofies so we <laughs> get knocked the hell out? Autumn's kind of creepy, dude. I ain't gonna lie. Damn it, Joshua. Thank you. you know, if you would just Joshua. speak to me a little bit, it'd answer a lot of these questions, since you seemingly know something about the Ultima Mythos thing. Hmm. One can no more command the power of ether by drowning in its flood than one can constrain the tides by standing in the sea. I had thought Hugo wiser than this, but it seems his head was full of rocks after all. Titan was strong. Your Majesty. That mythos is stronger. For five years that man lived only for revenge. Clinging fast to a fiction, even as it swept him into the abyss. Hold on. I hate interrupting the cutscenes, but who's Barnabas? King of Walud and Dominant of Odin. That's Odin. Okay, okay, okay. The Warden of Darkness. Okay. Oh, wait. Mythos. Will it. The name by which Ultima addresses Clive, it appears to be his title for the vessel for limitless power. That he means to make of the young Lord Marquis. But to what end he requires such a thing, only Ultima knows. Is, uh, okay. No real answers. Only the Almighty can do that. Hugo Kupka, the man who gave his life for a woman's head. Fool, like all the rest. Oh, that the death of a mother crystal should be so beautiful. So do they want the Mother Crystals to be destroyed as well? Like, he had to know us being there. And then leading Kuka to it that we would destroy it. And also, how do they know Some Mythos? And, oh my god. I'm so confused. I have salves, potions, anything you need. Stop bothering me, Urchin. Or you'll feel the back of my hand. Rude. You must consider your health, my prince. If a show of force is needed to keep the Dalmex at bay, you may trust in your dragoons. I beg you to call on Bahamut only as a last resort. His strength comes at too great a cost. 
The Empire agreed to an armistice with the Republic, and yet the Emperor still plots its ruin. For now, the Dalmecs suspect nothing, and as long as I can hold their gaze, war need not be inevitable. But more than that, Bahamut is the champion of the Empire. When our people look to the heavens, the sight of him gives them hope. I feel bad for Dion, dude. <laughs> like me, Terence. Would that you were my master. But alas. Like he seems to want just what's best for his people. Be loyal servant. Like a decent human being. But he has to do what his father says, and now his father thinks he's a traitor. Like, dude's in a rough spot, man. Should the Council's brazen maneuvering prompt the Republic to tear up their own treaty and launch a new assault, our soldiers would advance to meet them, cutting across the Central Isles, but not in time to prevent their forces from breaching the southern defenses and storming Twinside. And so the capital would become a battlefield. Thousands of innocents would die. I cannot allow that to happen. Like I said, decent human being, man. <laughs> there is one small mercy, at least. You will not be forced to do battle with Titan. <laughs> oh, they know of that already, huh? Would that Word I travels fast. A thousand pardons, your highness. What is it? has been made emperor. <laughs> what is the meaning of this? <laughs> oh, Father's God. What were they? Quickly! Uh, yes, Your Highness. His Radiance requests that Your Highness maintain position here and... Yes, my prince. I must go to the palace. I'll ready your steed. What is it now? Forgive the intrusion, your highness. I know you. We stand in the presence of the Phoenix. You wouldn't want to get your fingers burned. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. Though I admit, I did not expect such a distinguished guest. How many years has it been since the Remembrance Ceremony? Twenty? I thought you long dead. Pretty much everyone does. <laughs> many have told me that I look like one. But no. I'm alive. Just. Prince Dion of the House Lesage, I have a tale to tell you. Is Dion gonna join our side? I really hope he does, man. Because he needs to kill his dad. <laughs> and we need to kill our mother. 
And, uh, I mean, Joshua can kill... Uh, it might be... Do we kill the boy? Is that mean? <laughs> like, should, should the boy live? It feels a little rude killing the boy, but... I don't know, man. <laughs> it's spawn of those two, like... But he hasn't done anything wrong that I know of. We could let the boy live. Under close watch. I guess. And that's it. Oh boy. Alright. Well, that was a fun fight. Titan was good. I'm glad he's gone. And the crystal. Another crystal. Oof. Oof. And we're getting ever closer to dealing with our mother. Hopefully soon. Hopefully soon. But that's going to be it for me, guys. It's already been an extra hour. And your boy is tired AF. So, yeah. <laughs> I'm going to bed. But, uh, what is today? Friday. I'm off tomorrow. We'll be back on Sunday to play a bit more. Got to be getting close to the end at this point. I hope you all have a good night. Thank you one last time for coming out. And, uh, as always, be kind to each other, y'all. <laughs> Bye! Believe it. That was our first character that we played through as, and uh, we fought Brigan, the asshole. You surrender? I'm not here to fight. I actually just kind of want to shop. Where's the shopkeep? <laughs> there you are, okay. This is the first time I think that we've had people to talk to in the middle of a level. So that's a little weird, but whatever. Right, we might as well sell that shine stuff because we can only really use it in the the underworld area and I don't think we're heading back there anytime soon uh, keep the healing tonics we have mm, what do you what do you have to, to sell I guess like what are you buying because Ancient Crystal Spear, Stone Luck Stone. Yeah. See, there's nothing here we really want to buy. So no, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna ignore it for now. I'm not gonna worry about it. Pass them up. Keep on going. I think we're heading south. Going all the way to the bottom. Gotta murder everything before we continue on to the boss. I also need to grab a fruit squeeze. something to flavor up my water a little bit today i got some uh what is this pineapple mango it is pretty freaking good man i didn't expect it to to be one of my favorites but ever since i tried it i uh yeah i actually like it a lot oh you're a i didn't even realize this was a boss <laughs> oops that's all right uh duh, god we're fine. Everything's fine. One of the bonuses about being still relatively early in the game is that, uh, like, we don't have a ton of health, so we don't really have to worry much. Like, at the end of the game, you have to drink, like, four health potions to heal yourself, but right now, it's like, yeah, it's not that big of a deal, man. <laughs> One health potion gets us completely back to full. And that only costs, like, what, one one carrot, if I remember correctly? Like, it's not that big of a deal. It's fine. Grapes take 12. Muggle takes 8. Do I think there's 8 more floating around? 